Hi, I'm Danny Lang, and today we're going to discuss hull shapes, side shapes, and also rocker on canoes. Here we have a great example of a flat bottom canoe. This is the Old Town Saranac 146. As you can see with my paddle, this is a very flat bottom canoe. The paddle shaft rests across almost the entire hull. This is very popular among recreational canoeists and families because it provides a lot of stability in calm conditions. They're typically wider and very easy to use. Beside us, we have a great example of a shallow arch. So let's take a look at that. This is the Old Town Appalachian. As you can tell when I rest my paddle shaft on the hull, very little of the shaft is actually touching the hull. This design is ideal in less than perfect conditions, such as wind waves and current. Very popular among river runners and expedition style paddlers because it helps the boat track when it displaces the water. Now let's take a look at canoe sides. I have two examples here, tumble home and straight. Straight sides are just that. As you can tell in this Old Town Guide, from the hull up to the gunnel is very vertical. On the Old Town Pack, however, you can see a great example of tumble home. Tumble home is when the gunnel width is less than the overall width of the canoe. You can see that by looking down the side and see the widest point of the boat is below the gunnel and it actually tucks in towards the gunnel at towards the top. This makes it easier to paddle because you don't have to reach out as far over the gunnels. Now let's talk about rocker. Rocker is the curvature of the hull as it rises to the bow and stern. The Old Town Appalachian here is an example of a canoe with lots of rocker. The more rocker the canoe has, the more maneuverable it's going to be. This is ideal in rough water conditions where there's current, waves, and other obstacles that you need to maneuver around. Now when a canoe has less rocker, more of the hull is in the water at all times. This is going to be beneficial when you're doing long distances, such as touring or expedition style canoeing. Hopefully now you'll have a better understanding of canoe shapes and designs. This will help you in choosing the right canoe for your needs. Thanks for watching and 